Hello, Mrs. Neumeyer back again with our next composer. We are going to be looking at WC today, and I have our timeline here to see where he was in our history. Now, if you haven't watched the first video in this segment, I would encourage you to do so, because I talked a lot about the history of the, and um, what was going on during his time and what influenced his music. I'll just give you a quick review here, but I encourage you to watch that video again if you haven't watched that. Um, here, W. Say, he was born in 1862, and he died in 1918. You'll see he's um, around the time at the end of the Romantic period. So it's the late Romantic period moving into the modern period. We kind of classify him usually in the modern period because he was very influential um, and part of that time where things were changing and new sounds and new kind of innovations were happening in music at that time. And W. Say really... Um, led the way in that area. Um, around the same time that he was around um, were the Impressionist artists. I showed you a picture of Monet. Um, those Impressionistic artists were very influential in his music and he was friends with them and the poets of the time. He was also friends with poets. And so what he wanted to do was express in his music some of the um, things that the, he saw the painters doing at the time where they were showing the impressions of things that were going on um, in, the, in the paintings and what they were seeing. He wanted to do that in music. So when we look at his music, it's like we're getting an impression of something. Um, we're almost can see it as we're listening to that music. We're getting an impression of what's going on there in the music. I have this book here I wanted to show you. It tells more about his life and about his influences and as he went through. And like I said, he was inspired by the artists of the day. Let me show you this. It's a really cool picture from one of those impressionist artists that he was friends with, inspired with at the time. This art and one's from Degas, where he was fa Degas was famous for doing the the ballerina um, paintings. This is a orchestra that he painted there, just to remind you of the time period that um, W.C. was writing in and inspired by. Um, and then I wanted to show you one last picture here of the cover art for this piece of music just to show you. He was inspired by some art here that um, he used for the cover art for his um, musical piece. Today we're going to listen to one of his pieces. It's called La Mer, and um, it's a very long piece, so we're not going to listen to the whole thing. The whole thing is about um, 25 minutes. We're going to just listen to the fourth um, piece in the music, and that's about seven to eight minutes. Now, when we listen to it, you can kind of, you know, um, listen very carefully for what you hear and what images it brings up in your head. Now, I know it's hard sometimes to sit this long um, and listen to a piece of music, but what we're learning here is how to listen and how to attend, um, how to attend to something, how to really focus our minds and our thoughts on what we're hearing and really take out of it what what sort of expressions you're hearing in that music. There's a lot to offer when we listen to this type of music um, for us to be able to digest and really listen to. So that's a skill we're working on here as we're listening. What do you hear? What instruments do you hear? How do you hear the music moving up or down or louder or softer or the different types of instruments that are used at different times to express the types of things that that composer might been been trying being trying to say through his music. So I want you to practice that today as we listen. I know it's hard and I know it's long but I want you to um, to work on that as you listen along. Now along the way, just like I did with our Tchaikovsky, um, I'll be stopping along the way to maybe to mention a few things, but I want you to see what you can find in the music as well as you listen. As we listen to this piece, I want to show you a listening guide that I got off of the CC Connected website. You can see a lot going on here, right? We've got um, lots of different music happening, list things in the music happening as we go along. There's going to be some ups and some downs and I want you to listen to what it reminds you of as we go along. So listen carefully as I play the music. 
Here we go. Okay, we've got some drums going on there in the background. Kind of a quiet roll. Cellos enter. Okay, kind of repeats. Okay, what do you imagine? What are you imagining right now when you hear it? You hear this quiet roll, kind of again and again. Almost like maybe the wind is picking up something in the air, some, some kind of drama is building up, right? Oh, now it's almost like a little call. Oh, trumpet's playing. Maybe it's a warning. There's that trumpet again. Wow. Did you hear that? It really picked up, didn't it? You're starting to feel maybe like the sense like you're on the ocean. You hear kind of the waves crashing, some sounds like that. Yeah, it's called Le Mir, La Mir, which means the sea. So see if you can feel, almost feel like these waves crashing, the sounds, the sights, the feelings that this music kind of brings to, to mind as we're listening to it. It's almost like if we close our eyes, our imagination can be ignited and we can get a visual for what um, he's trying to show us in this music. Let's keep going. Some woodwinds there. A little melody going on here. Oh, here comes a flute. And then the cellos, kind of a new theme coming in here. It's kind of almost like the, the wind is coming about, right? So something whirls, whips up. Did you hear that big kind of almost crash, a, a, a loud uptake in that music there? And then now watch as it softly calms down.
out at sea. Maybe now, now it's nice and calm. Oh. oh, sounds like maybe trouble's coming. Oh, no, maybe not. Is it a false alarm? Nice little woodwind theme here. All is calm. Instruments are joining in. happening letting us know something's going on here there's a horns okay we've heard this a little bit before the notes Strings are growing and growing. Okay, maybe things are getting a little rough again. Crashing all around. Wow. <laughs> so much happening in that piece. I mean, can you just visualize it I mean I can almost can see those waves and feel them crashing and hitting and then there's parts where it was calm and maybe we we're just enjoying the day on the sea so I want you to listen to this one again without me interrupting this time and just find a quiet space just to kind of just close your eyes and take it all in and just almost like you're watching a movie in your mind of what you're hearing and sensing through the music. All right, thanks for joining me for another week and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.